everyone and welcome back to the happy heart I'm so glad that you guys came back today for another brand new video I actually saw this really fun winter tag on Shelly's home life I've been watching her lately and so I've kind of gotten inspired by some of the um, recipes and different things that she has done and I saw this really fun tag that I'm pretty sure was a little bit older on her channel but I figured since it just snowed here in South Carolina yesterday <laughs> that I needed to do a winter tag. Literally never snows here. This is like a huge phenomenon. And the fact that it didn't just snow and melt off. It's actually stayed for like two days now and everybody's kind of like up in the air and the whole town's been closed. It's it's so silly. I'm No wonder northerners make fun of us. So yeah, it was cold outside and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna do this tag. This seems fun and very appropriate right now. Question one, and I actually just looked it up off of um, Shelly's Home Life and I'm looking at the questions actually on one of her videos. <laughs> so question one is favorite thing about winter? Favorite thing about winter? The clothes. I think the clothes. Who doesn't like winter clothes? Like how fun is that? Like coats and jackets and scarves and you don't have to worry about being skinny or fitting into your jeans or anything like that. You can just bundle up. All right, number two is beanies or scarves. And I'm a scarf girl. I am a scarf girl in the summer. I'm a scarf girl in the winter. So I love a scarf. I love a heavy scarf that really like keeps you warm patterns and colors and matching to my coats. I love a scarf. Number three is favorite holiday movie. Now we're in January right now so we're a little bit past Christmas but my favorite holiday movie is White Christmas. Who doesn't love White Christmas? It's so great. Every, the last scene, the closing scene of it makes me tear up every time I watch it. It doesn't matter how many times I watch it. It's just my favorite. And I, of course, love watching, you know, the funny Christmas movies, but I think White Christmas is just kind of that funny, nostalgic, like, when life was a little bit easier and things were just a little bit, the times were just a little bit easier. All right, number four is favorite winter nail polish. I am not an adventurous nail polish girl. I really love the French look and I like it on my toes. I like it all year round. Um, but I had to say a color. I would probably say like some grays. Um, my friend did this really pretty, this really pretty blue the other day that looked so nice. Um, so if you're a little bit adventurous, I know everybody goes into like the red tones and stuff, but I think for actual like winter winter, um, I'm really liking a gray lately. Number five is favorite holiday drink at Starbucks. And oh, this is really tough because I love a routine. Like <laughs> it sounds really like old and Dumb, but I love a routine so I don't get out of the realm a lot for like holiday drinks but I love peppermint so peppermint tea and I know they have peppermint hot chocolate and I do love that every year I love like when the peppermint hot chocolate comes out I usually do like a chai tea that's my favorite and I remember a couple years ago we were super cold walking around DC in the winter and it was in February and why we thought it would be cool to go to DC in February. Still will never figure out. Because we did it twice, I think. I was drinking a chai tea latte and I loved it. And if I kept drinking it, I could walk around and I could be warm. But if I had stopped drinking it or it had ran out and there was no Starbucks around us, I was like, ugh, freaking out. Like, maybe we need to go. So. It kind of like is a winter feeling for me now. Next one is top three winter essentials. So my top three, whew, this is hard. 
basically everything to do with moisturizer because my skin dries out on a regular normal humid day so winter you can imagine just wreaks havoc on my skin so the my go-to essentials for the winter is I love it when Dove body wash comes out with the winter care line and it actually really really works I looked at it for like a year or two before I ever bought any and guys it actually works I swear essential is chapstick I usually always have the green blistex that's um, the 24-hour medicated and I keep that in my purse all winter just in case for me or my son or it just seems like in an instant you get chap lips like it just happens my third essential is my moisturizer I use what's called confidence cream from it cosmetics and I love that stuff oh my gosh cannot survive without it winter or not and especially in winter because I can just feel it if I don't have any or I'm running low cannot survive it is just a super good moisturizer and it's I have gone through I have probably tried 20 different moisturizers and that one really really works the best for my face otherwise what happens is I'll put moisturizer on I'll put makeup on and you look through it and I look like a snake I mean you can just see all the cracks and it just looks like I should be peeling you know so that moisturizer has been a lifesaver for me so those are my definite essentials all about the moisture number seven is name your name your number one name your number one item on your wish list this year and really my number one item is I really wanted some bath bombs from um, Bath and Body Works and so that was my number one item I really 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 like them I love taking baths I especially love taking baths in the winter because I'm cold all the time and I've been in my house all day and I have a long sleeve sweater on. Like, been in my house all day, haven't left once. So, I'm just a cold nature type of person and I'll put a hoodie on, I'll always have long pajama pants on, always have socks on. So if I can't get warm, I just take a bath and that always does the trick for me. So bath bombs were on my uh, list this year, on the very, very top. Number nine, did you do Black Friday shopping this year? I did for the first time in a long time and the only reason I did was because my son asked for a Nintendo Switch right before Thanksgiving and I didn't know that's what he wanted and all of a sudden he said hey I want this and so mom and dad had to figure it out and we did some Black Friday deal shopping. I actually went out with my girlfriend. Um, my husband didn't come or anything, but he had been watching the sale ads f um, for like four days, and then he was trying to figure out if it'd be cheaper on Cyber Monday and all of that. So I actually did go Black Friday shopping. I went to Best Buy and picked that up. I also picked up a Google Home for my husband for Christmas on Best Buy. Um, there was numerous uh, games and movies on sale at Best Buy on Black Friday, which I was very surprised about. Um, I also went to Target and Walmart. We went, I want to say it was until later at night, like 8 o'clock Thanksgiving night, and we just walked in. Um, I did have to wait in a really long line to get the Nintendo Switch. That was the only kind of weird thing. And the person I was going with, they were buying a TV, and there was only a few left of certain ones. So, like, when they were picking out their selection, they had to kind of ask, like, do you have any left of these and things like that. I had to wait in a line that kind of wrapped around the store, but it wasn't too bad. And actually, I think I only waited in line maybe, like, half an hour. Like, it wasn't terrible or anything. 
Um, it moved pretty quickly. It wasn't bad at all. Next question is must have lip product. I am thinking a good chapstick, just in case. Um, that is kind of all my, I'm a lip gloss girl, so I always wear lip gloss and I love it. Um, I've been really loving the Maybelline 24 hour um, lip gloss that you put on and then you have like kind of a sealant on top of it. So I've been loving those too, but definitely is favorite winter <laughs> chapstick. Ugh. Hands down chapstick. Number 11 is, will you be rocking an ugly Christmas sweater this year? And no, absolutely not. Um, my husband has one, thinks this ugly Christmas sweater thing is great fun. I have honestly just never had an opportunity to get into it. And um, I did see somebody this year and they had a shirt that said uh, something to the effect of like, go Jesus, it's your birthday, and I thought that would be cool. But the actual ugly Christmas sweater, like I haven't officially got into yet, so. Maybe next year, maybe next year. Number 12 is, have you ever had a white Christmas? And I'm assuming they're meaning like Christmas day, like you wake up Christmas day and there's snow on the ground and it's all fresh and pretty. Yeah, never happened to me. <laughs> Um, uh, I grew up in Southern California. I have lived in North Carolina and Tennessee and now in South Carolina. But in all of those places where it does snow a little bit, it has never snowed on Christmas. Never. Even when we lived in North Carolina, it always snowed in February. Um, we lived in Tennessee and it always snowed in like January or February, it was never around Christmas. So, I've just, that's never happened for me. Number 13 is favorite winter candle scent. And hands down, anything cinnamon is my favorite. Um, I use a lot of Scentsy in my house, which is the wax warmers basically. And I don't use candles per se because I was a Scentsy consultant for a really long time and I love 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 their holiday um, anything that has cinnamon in it and I put those all over in my fun little wax warmers and that's usually what I have around my house for the Christmas holiday and even this year I put some out it was around Thanksgiving time and I was like oh it smells like Christmas in here and it was because it was my normal Christmas scent that I would put out and I want to say it's called Cozy Fireside. So I basically love anything cinnamon. I am not biased. Um, even when they come out with new holiday scents every year, as long as it has some kind of like cinnamon smell, I love like the pine cones or even like those brooms that are smelled like cinnamon. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So that's just kind of my, that is just, kind of my weakness is holiday scent is cinnamon or a good like pine scent. I've actually been using um, this Dr. Meyer soap that is a kind of a pine scent and it was a holiday scent this year and that is so good. Oh my gosh. It's, it's more of like a Christmas tree scent almost. This next question is, how will you be celebrating the holidays? And if you guys didn't know, I actually have a family vlog channel that I capture all my memories on. And I will link that down in the description below. And you can see our Christmas from this year and our Christmas, I think we have 2005 on there. I don't think for some reason we have 2016. Um, we have it, we just, I don't think ever edited and put it up. So I will link both of those videos down and you guys can see how we celebrate. This year we did some really fun games and we just had a lot of fun. I have a really small little family and we just make the most of it and try to be together and just have a really good time. And that's kind of our goal. 
What shoe do you tend to wear the most in the winter? Hands down, for years and years and years now, I wear Uggs. I always wear Uggs, and when um, I wear off-brand Uggs, don't get me wrong, I would love to own a regular pair of name-brand Uggs or Emus or something, but I just haven't been that fortunate. But I will wear Uggs from Target usually is where I buy them, and I usually get kind of a neutral. Um, I've done black for many years. For the past couple years, I've been rocking some gray Uggs um, that have sparkles on them. But that is my go-to shoe. I wear all winter, and hands down my favorite. Um, we actually walked to our neighbor's house in the snow the other day, and I had pajama pants on and my Uggs and just like a sweater. And my feet never got wet, and I mean, they are Uggs from Target that I've worn out like crazy. And so I know people don't think Uggs are very fashionable or anything like that, which they're really not, but they're so comfy and they're so warm. And I actually like the way they look with jeans, so they have been my go-to shoe since probably high school. Favorite winter accessory. I don't know exactly if this is an accessory, but I'm a blanket girl. I love a throw, I love a blanket. You can see there's a blanket right behind me. My husband actually got me this nice, pretty Sherpa throw for Christmas this year. Oh, I always have a blanket. And I have blankets all over my house. So, and I will use them so often that I don't even put them away. I will just kind of fold them up and lay them over my couch or fold them up and like put them in a basket or something like that because I know I'm gonna get them out the next day. Honestly, right now I'm in my living room and I'm looking at my couch and there is three blankets on my couch right now. So, and I have since kind of converted my family. So I think that's an accessory because I can't sit on my couch in the winter at all without a blanket. Cocoa or apple cider? I'm a cocoa girl. Hot cocoa is my thing. It's my jam. And I honestly can tell you that I love like the good old Swiss Miss from the packets. Um, the cheap one that you buy at Walmart. I mean, I just love it. Um, I tried some Starbucks dark cocoa the other day and I just wasn't a huge fan. I was like, mm, I like the Swiss Miss better. So tried and true is always better let me tell you snowboarding or skiing i think there should be an option for sitting in the lodge sipping cocoa right that should be an option right no <laughs> my husband is shaking his head over here let me tell you snowboarding <laughs> i would probably be more of a snowboarding girl skiing freaks me out scares me i don't know why like i'm afraid of it but i would actually like to try it um, but I think snowboarding in my head just makes more sense to me and stuff and so if I had to pick one like I would definitely snowboard before I would ski have you ever gone ice skating and are you any good I have been ice skating I've been ice skating a few times um, probably five times the last time I went, um, I took my son and it was terrible. He was too little and I should have known better. But he fell and hit his head and I felt awful after that. So, um, now I kind of watch everyone else ice skate. I'm just not that into it. I feel like it hurts your ankles. Um, it's not like roller skating, which everybody says like it's kind of like inline skating or rollerblading. And I can do that in like a snap. I don't know why this is... I don't know why people like it. I don't know, maybe I just have ill-fitting skates. But it's never been like super enjoyable to me. Mostly now, I let everyone else do it. And I will get on and go for a little bit, but... It's not something I enjoy, so I am not very good at it. Does it snow where you live? <laughs> I honestly didn't think it would snow where we live. We've lived here um, over a year, and I live outside of Charleston. 
never thought anything of it. I uh, figured it would be too hot here. Probably rarely snow. Yeah, apparently this year, because there's snow outside right now. I don't know what's going on with the weather. But it doesn't regularly snow here, and it's not an every year occurrence um, here in the south. Even um, North Carolina, Tennessee, where I've lived before, it hasn't regularly snowed every year. Have you ever built a snowman is the next question. I, I don't think I have. I, I was trying to think back about playing in the snow with my son, or even when I was little, I did live in Southern California, but we had a mountain kind of next to us, and we would go up there and play in the snow. It was never deep enough to really, really play, but we, I remember my parents taking us up there to play in the snow, but I don't think we ever built a snowman. I don't think there's ever been enough snow. And the times that there has been in North Carolina where we did get enough snow to do stuff like that, we didn't want to stay out in it that long. So. Interestingly enough, because I only have one child, um, we kind of go out and we play and we sled or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do in the snow and then um, throw snowballs and do stuff and then we come in, like, we don't stay out in it for very long. And I know when we moved to Tennessee, he had cousins who had this, like, full-on snow gear. And I remember being like, why do they have full-on snow gear? And I took him over there so they could all play in the snow. And they would stay out there for a really long time. And he ended up getting, um, like, I ended up having to, like, bring him a change of clothes because, like, his jeans were wet and stuff. But really... That had never happened before. I mean, we would go out in the snow, we would play for a little bit, and then you get cold and you come inside. So, um, you know, I think we just never stayed out in it too long, and I think that's why I've never really built a snowman. But it makes me want to watch Frozen. Maybe my son will watch Frozen with me. Last one is favorite winter treat. And I have been trying to figure out what my favorite winter treat is, and I have no idea why I can't figure this out. But I have a couple off the wall things, I don't know if they actually count count. But I love in Walmart when they have the popcorn tins with the three different kind of popcorn, uh, because I love the cheddar popcorn inside those tins. So I love it, I know it's like winter is coming when the tins start coming out in Walmart. I love also those um, boxes of their chocolate covered um, cherries. I think they're called Annie's. I want to say they're cherry cordial or something like that. And they sell them in Walmart every year. And I remember loving those as like a little kid. And, and um, the other thing is when I worked, I loved going to Starbucks and getting um, like a chai tea latte and a um, it was like a cranberry scone and I have no idea if they still have it but it was like a cranberry bark or cranberry scone it was more of like it was topped with cranberry inside of it and oh my gosh it was so good so those were kind of my funny winter treats I don't know really if they um, count count but I'm not a good like favorite girl because I just like everything. I mean, don't you guys just like everything? <laughs> that sounds terrible. But I'm just, I like all the snacks. I like them all. That is it for my winter tag. I'm so glad that you guys came over and hung out and got to know me a little bit better. And I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a video. And I will see you again in another brand new video. Thanks and have a good day.